Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting video. I hope you all are doing great. Today we will learn how to implement dark and light themes in Flutter using block state management. So without wasting any more time, let's dive right into it. We will start with this default counter application that comes with Flutter. But before we begin, make sure to add the block dependencies. You can either do it through the VS Code shortcut that comes with the Flutter extension or directly add it in the pubspec.yml file and then run flutter pubcat command to get all the dependencies. Now that we have the dependency, let's create a theme block to manage the state changes of the theme and change it dynamically. You can use this VS Code extension to make your task easier and create a new block. So let's name this block theme block. Now there are two approaches to use here. Either you can store the current theme data in the state object or you can directly use theme mode as a state in the block. So I will choose the later as it seems more clean. Let's give theme mode dot light as the initial state to the block. So by default, the light theme will be applied. Now let's create an event for theme change. Here we will use a boolean variable is dark to know which theme to show whenever a user requests to change the theme. In the block, we will listen to this theme change event. If is dark variable is true, we will emit the state theme mode dot dark. Otherwise, we will emit theme mode dot light. With the block work completed, let's create two themes for our application. For this, I will create a new file name theme dot dark. In this file, we will define two theme data objects, one for light theme and another for dark theme. You can either use an existing theme or generate a new color scheme for your application using this material theme data. Once the theme is ready, export it in Flutter, open the generated zip and copy the color scheme from the color scheme.path file. and paste them into our theme file. Now add the light color scheme to the light theme and the dark color scheme to the dark theme. With our light and dark themes ready to use, we will pass them in the material app widget. To use the theme block, we need to add a block provider. So let's add a block provider widget at top of material app with the theme block. Next, we will need to tell the material app which theme to display, either the dark theme or the light theme. So we can use the theme mode parameter for this. If we pass theme mode light, the light theme will be used, and if we pass theme mode dark, then this dark theme will be used. But we need to give this mode dynamically from the theme state. To do this, let's wrap this widget in a block builder. So whenever the state changes, the widget will be rebuilt with the changed theme. Alternatively, you can use context.watch method which is provided by block if you don't want to wrap it in a block builder. Now we can use the state variable and pass it into the theme mode. Since we have given the initial state as theme mode dot light in the block, we are currently seeing the light theme. But if we give the initial state as theme mode dot dark, we will see the dark theme here. Finally, let's add a switch widget to let user switch the theme. If this switch is on, then the theme will be dark and if it's off then theme will be light theme. 
You can also swap the direction of switch and theme if you prefer. If the state is theme mode dot dark, then the value of the switch will be true, else the value will be false. And in the on change callback, we will trigger the theme change event with the value we got from the switch. And that's it. We have successfully implemented dark and light themes in Flutter using block state management. You can get the source code of this tutorial in the link given below in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, feel free to comment down below. Also, feel free to ask any questions about Flutter in the comment section below. And if you want more content related to Flutter, you can also follow me on Instagram and Medium, whose links are given below in the description. Thank you for watching.